Hey everyone, so as you can see, I have uh, a lot of stuff around me because we're moving to a new place. So I don't really have much uh, space or things to cook with yet. So this week we're going to try to do something a little bit simple. Uh, we're going to make a uh, sandwich. And after a big movement like this, I like to go on a nice, relaxing hike and bring these sandwiches along. So I hope you guys enjoy. So we're going to make some eggplant and tofu sandwiches today. And the first thing you want to do is to buy a really big and fat eggplant. The fatter ones usually are a little bit less bitter than the skinnier ones. And just slice them into th kind of thin strips. And then to get rid of the bitterness, take all of your strips and put them inside of a colander. And then sprinkle a little bit of salt on all the pieces, kind of evenly distribute it. And you then you can kind of push down on them and let them sit for, I would say, about an hour with a paper towel. For a tofu, make sure you get the extra firm tofu, not the soft one because the extra firm one will hold up when you sear it and you know just kind of slice them into little chunks and pat them dry with a paper towel. To make the dressing, simply put one part of good olive oil with one part of balsamic vinegar. After about an hour, a good bit of liquid should have drained from the eggplant. Now it's ready to sear. So just take a hot pan and then lay out your eggplant. Don't try to overcrowd your pan and just sear it. When it's brown, you can flip it over. And when it's fully cooked, you'll know because it'll become really soft and limp. And you can just kind of put them aside. In the same pan, you can fry the tofu. So heat up your oil and just put your tofu in. And when the tofu is brown, you can flip it over as well. Pretty much the same thing, nothing really difficult. And when it's ready, you just kind of take it out and put it on the side. Time to assemble the sandwich. So basically, I just kind of put some spinach as a base level put a piece of the eggplant right on top maybe add some tomatoes why not They're pretty juicy then on top of that how about some of our seared tofu and then on the bread I'd like to just drizzle a little bit of that dressing that we made earlier kind of moistens the bread and also makes it really flavorful put the piece on top and then we're gonna kind of grill it now you can use a press if you have one but if you don't you can kind of just like smush it down and put it in a hot pan and when it's ready you kind of flip it over and when it's done you have your sandwich so I'm cutting one in half right now just to show you what it looks like how does that look yeah look at all that juiciness right inside so intense and, oh my god he's looking right at me holy crap He's like gonna jump over here or something. I'm gonna zoom into. His, oh, there, there he goes. There he goes. It's like that's like Tom Cruise, the last samurai in the field of glory. Trip off. I'm tripping on my fruit. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what is that thing. I don't know. There's like little dots on. I have some friends that probably know what it is because you know they're. Yeah. I mean, I know there's that saying about taking the road less traveled, but like. <laughs> This is like the road, this is, this is called the road that's not traveled. Dude, that's like a, a creepy crawler. Remember those like, that like TV show creepy crawler? Yeah. Wait, it's like that toy or whatever. Yeah. Like the oven bake thing. Holy crap, look at that. They're like looking at us. Yeah, cause they're like, what the hell is this machine thing? 